Jamesus. I have this little sister, Lola. She's small and very funny. Now, Mom and Dad say she's nearly quite big enough to go to school. Lola is not so sure. Lola is not so sure because she's so tiny. But not so tiny like a little tiny thing like this. Lola says, I am absolutely not big. I'm still really quite small. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. I have to wait around me doing important things at home. Maybe Lola is doing her activities at home. What did her teacher send to her? I say, at school you will learn numbers and have to count up to 100. Lola says, I don't need to learn up to 100. I already know what to do. And that is plenty. I have ten fingers and also I have ten toes. And I never eat more than ten biscuits in one go. Ten is enough. But Lola, I say, what if eleven anger elephants all wanted a treat? How would they count up how many treats that would be? Well, says Lola, I am not quite sure. I say, and what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people you like. Lola says, I like to talk on the telephone. It's more friendly and straight way. But not everyone has a telephone, you know, Lola, I say. Who doesn't? says Lola. Father Christmas. I say, we have to write him a special note and put it up the chimney. Just otherwise, the little helpers might get your wish muddled up. I didn't know that, Charlie. And Lola, I say, don't you want to read words? Then you will be able to read your own books and understand secret message right in on the fridge. Lola says, I know a lot of secrets. I don't need to read words. And I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I can just make them up. There's pink milk in the fridge. But Lola, I say, what would you do if there was an ever so angry ord? Who who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favorite bedtime story? I don't know, Charlie, says Lola. Not so scared she got a nightmare. Then Lola says, I would like to, to read to an orange and count up elephants and put notes up the chimney. But I, I absolutely will not ever wear a school uniform. I do not like wearing the same as other people. I say, but Lola, you do not have to wear a school uniform at your school. You can wear whatever you like. Oh, says Lola, the waiter, I know extremely what I can wear. Well, Lola, I say, what currently suits you, but you cannot go to school dress as a crocodile. Lola says, this is not a crocodile, this is an alligator. I say, you can't really go as an alligator either? Why not? says Lola. Because alligator is for best, for school, strike or night. Really? says Lola. I like to wear stripes, says Lola, says Lola, but what will I do at lunch time? You know, I will never ever eat a school dinner. My sister Lola is very fuzzy about food. I say, but Lola, you can take your very own pet lunch in your very own lunchbox. Lola. Lola says, I do not want to eat that food alone all by myself, on my own. But Lola, at school you will meet lots of new friends. We can 
have lunch with one of them. Then Lola says, but I already have my friends. So I'm Lorenzen. I would like to have lunch at home with him. So Lorenzen is Lola's invisible friend. No one knows what he looks like. I say, well, so Lorenzen will be going to school too. But, but what if he can sit next to you? Oh, you're right, Sir Lorenzen is a bit slightly nervous to be at school on his own. I will absolutely have to go too, says Bella. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly, she says. Sir Lorenzen is feeling slightly not very well. He He's worried he will not count numbers do letters and read words and no one will talk to him so he will be all by himself on his own. Lola, Lola, I say, it will be okay, you'll be fine. I bet you both have a really good time and after school we'll have been here at home. But all day I am worried. I don't see her at break, and she's mean, and she's nowhere at lunch. I can't find her at home time. She's not by her bed. But then, there she is, and she's not alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. At home, I say, Lola, I told you that you would have a good time, and Lola says. I know, Charlie. Oh, I know, Charlie. I was not worried. It was Sir Lorenzen who was nervous, not me. I was fine. The end. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the best video I have. Thanks for watching. Bye.